Wow, I never saw something like it in my life. Yeah, what is there? Oh, it's a donkey. Oh yeah, it's a donkey, I can see his head. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. channel it's day number 85 on our round the world trip we are here in the city of st louis in senegal country number six of our round the world trip and we've got this um, little room with an ocean view in front of us amazing ocean view but it's really sad because there's a lot of rubbish as well on the beach like a big big pile of rubbish and it just breaks my heart but look very funny as well we have some cows on the beach <laughs> so let me show you guys where we're heading today so this is our new awesome map of Senegal and we are up at the top here in St. Louis and we are going to be making our way down the coast all the way to the capital city, Dakar. So today we have about 140 miles, which is 240 k's to go. Our navigation says it takes us about five hours. So better hit the road. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Now on the way down, you have to be really, really careful. Yeah. I'll try my best not to drop the bike already. Okay, right. And your helmet's good here? Okay. Day 85, starting the day on the beach. We have to start with a uh, like 500 meter ride through the sand to get back to the road because the road doesn't actually directly connect to this hotel here. So I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> merci, merci. <laughs> Aha! Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's hit the sand. So I have to come round the building here and then down. This is where <laughs> this is where the sand gets a little bit deep. Luckily this part's downhill. And we've got that traction by Dunlop! <laughs> bonjour, bonjour, salam, bonjour. We're greeted by the whole village here. <laughs> Woo yeah. Whoa. Whoa. A little bit deep. I feel like everyone is just watching me, just struggling through this sand. Ha 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 
Yeah, this bike will get through anything. Oh. <laughs> Stalled it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Levy's pushing me. Okay, one more road. There's the road. I can see tarmac up ahead. Oh my god. Honestly, this is like the biggest challenge. First thing in the morning. Hey, whoa, there we go. Woo! Bonjour. There we go. Did it. Sand done. Very good. I felt like I was swimming through the sand. Literally. Sometimes I push you a little bit. Yeah. But all in all, not too bad. Bumblebee didn't need a nap, so that's cool. <laughs> all right, here we go. On our way out of St. Louis and on the way to Dakar. Let's go. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so where we were staying, Eden Beach Hotel, the hotel that doesn't have a road up to it. Uh, this is actually on the other side of the Senegal River to the mainland. So the Senegal River is just here to the right of us and uh, that's the mainland behind and in between this side of the river and that side of the river is actually a small island which is the main old town that is the core of St. Louis. So we're gonna drive down to the bridge cross over onto the island through the old town island cross over another bridge and then that will take us to the mainland and on our way to Dakar and you can see all these fishing boats lined up a huge amount of fishing boats lined up here yes yeah, so many it looks beautiful but it's really sad because somebody told us yesterday that the fishing industry here is declining and I guess not many boats here are being used yeah, uh, there's just less and less fish around and they're having to go further and they're getting less and less catches these days. Yes. So yeah, you can see half of these are sort of semi-abandoned along the side of the road here. And here is where the fishermen have come in. So this is like the market, it's got fish market, but also market for kind of other things as well. So I will be today the adventure routing because our Garmin is not working anymore. <laughs> Not for Senegal. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I tried to download the North Africa maps, but I don't know. We couldn't get them, so we're recording where we're going on the Garmin, but uh, yeah, we're using Google Maps for navigation. So here is all the, all the trucks waiting to receive the fish. And this place does not smell too good. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my oh. god. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is a fishy area. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a lot of activity going on in St. Louis this morning. I mean, look at the sea of people here. <laughs> There's a kid running next to us. <laughs> so much activity going on. And if you look down the side streets, you can see every side street is like a little village of its own. Everyone hanging out there washing. Look how many goats here are. Seriously, <laughs> St. Louis is like the town of goats. Look at this. That's absolutely incredible. Really. Wow. Here are so many goats, guys. Really so, so many. Oh my God. I think here are as many goats as people. <laughs> So St. Louis has a population of around 250,000 people. It was once actually the capital of Senegal for a long, long time, for hundreds of years, during the time that it was a French colony. And it was only in the uh, early 1900s that the capital was moved to Dakar. This was also the capital of uh, Mauritania, when Mauritania was also a French colony. So this was an incredibly important place historically and actually the old town that we're about to see after we cross the bridge 
is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So that's really cool that they recognize the importance of the history and the architecture. Okay, wait a second. I think he saw me filming. Hello. Bonjour, ça va? Bonjour, ça va? Uh, Comment? Prenez des images, non? Photo. Photo, oh! Just, just la vidéo. C'est ça. Okay. Merci. Merci. Bonne journée. So I think Lavi just accidentally filmed a, a police officer maybe and he stopped us and was not really happy about that. I didn't want to film him. I just wanted to film some something from the street. So oh well. he was just th being there and, and saw me directly and I think he thought oh, he didn't like that, yeah. which is fine. Right, here is the first bridge to take us onto the island. All right, this is coming into the old part of St. Louis now. And you can see, look at all the buildings. It's got a beautiful, beautiful vibe here in the old town. It's got really nice, really nice old architecture around and this old French style. Yeah, we had a walk around yesterday evening here in this old town and it was just amazing. The colors, the people, um, they're selling here their traditional dresses as well, which are just so colorful and beautiful. And a lot of shops where they're selling their art. It was a really nice experience to walk around this town here, this old town. Yeah, look at the colors of some of the buildings. There's just quite a really cool, like, bohemian vibe here. Wow, look at these buildings. Really cool. Yeah, really, really, really cool. So I think we're coming up to the bridge in a minute. So this is the Senegal River. And look, it's a massive river. Look how much water there is. It's <laughs> unbelievable. This bridge that we're on at the moment was built in 1896. Or somewhere around there anyway. So it's like a 120 years old bridge. So St. Louis is also one of the most threatened cities in Africa when it comes to climate change. So not only for the fishing, but also because the main city barely sits above sea level. Actually, that peninsula on the other side is uh, losing around one to two meters a year of coastline due to the sea levels rising. So it won't take a lot of sea level rise for that old town to be under threat of basically that entire island in the middle being underwater. So if you want to see St. Louis, you may have to come and see it soon. We don't know how long it's going to be around for. So we're now heading out of the city. We're going to get out into the Senegal countryside, try to make some way towards Dakar. So we're just coming through Parc National de Long de Barbary, the Long de Barbary National Park. This national park is all about wetlands and bird life. And there is some flamingos. Nice. Whoa. I have to stop for a second. Look at this place. No. It is so full of bird life, hey. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love it. 
It's just, look how many birds there are. You've got flamingos, you've got pelicans, you've got cormorants, you've got seagulls and other terns and other sort of sea seabirds. Wow, nice. Here. Absolutely. Yeah, nice. Well, guys, there's just something running over there, which is either a fox or a jackal. I'm not really sure what they have in this area. It might just be a fox, but... Yeah, I think you can see it a little bit here on camera that something is running off. Amazing. Cool, nice. Well, since we got to the Diarling National Park, we've seen so much wildlife. That's very, very nice to see. Very nice to see. So we've come inland a bit now and we're really in like the semi-arid savanna landscape and it's really really beautiful here it just feels very wild yeah it feels very open as well you can spot some cows in between or here on the side of the road some sheep. <laughs> we saw a camel just a second ago many different types of trees we saw a baobab tree already Yes, and that's one thing that I've been waiting to see for so long is the baobab trees But uh, we haven't seen any big big ones, but if we come across a big one We will definitely stop to admire it. They're such beautiful trees Yeah, it's a really really pretty area here and That there is such a good road just going through this area is just amazing for me I love it so much like the wind is cooling us down a little bit the temperature at the moment is 33 degrees so it's really really nice right here I really enjoy it God, guys hold on a minute let me get to the side of the road whoa this is a huge group of vultures wow I never saw something like it in my life whoa look at them I think they must be fighting over some road kill yes I'm just gonna edge closer Oh, that's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. Whoa. Look how big they are. They are massive. Oh Please my God. don't attack me, guys. <laughs> and look, they're, fight they're like fighting over everything. Look at them. Yeah, what is there? I don't know, a dead something. I can smell it. <laughs> oh. Look at the way they're just all jumping in. Wow. And look how massive they are. <gasps> wow. Whoa. They are so, so big, guys. Wow. I, ne I never saw anything like it in my life, really. This is basically a nature program that we've been on today. <laughs> this is like National Geographic right in front of our eyes. Wow. How do they look? Look, their heads are blue. Oh, it's a donkey. Oh, yeah, it's a donkey. I can see his head. Oh, my God. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> it's incredible. Okay, should we just leave them alone now? Better leave them to it, hey? Yeah, let's leave them to it. Whew, that's crazy. That is crazy. Bye, guys. Bye, vultures. <laughs> Enjoy your donkey. <laughs> TV is over. So we've hit a small <laughs> town in the middle of this uh, countryside area. I don't know the name of the town. Wow, a lot of nice food here to, to buy. <laughs> Sugar cane. <laughs> so 
we've just seen some big baobab trees so there should be a track coming off the road somewhere here I think it's here okay all right okay keeping my feet ready but it feels okay okay jump off there I'm just gonna go nice and easy but I've got these banks which increase my feet I can put my heels much easier it's not too bad I really want to get to these baobabs get to the baobab yeah this is not too bad it's not too bad oh yeah uh, yeah yeah a little bit further Just the question is whether or not I can get off this divot. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is way easier to drive on. <sighs> I'm sorry you have to walk, my love. But it's not too much further. The baobabs are up ahead. Here we are. Oh my god, look at this! Here he is! Look at the size of this tree! Look at the size of this tree! I'm just going to do a little walk around. Whoa! Oh, it's such an impressive tree. And then there's another one over there. So it's like two massive ones grouped together here. I think this is a good place to stop for lunch, hey? Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> under the baobab tree we're having some black beans we're going to mix in some spices some salt some garlic and uh, then we're going to have the beans on some bread <laughs> for some good nutrients today <laughs> it's not too complicated i must admit okay we've arrived in the town of umboro which is one of the biggest towns that we're going to pass through on the way to dakar the road condition has gotten significantly worse since we were out in the countryside and also we got a lot more traffic going on and there seems to be so many of these speed bumps as well I mean as soon as we hit into the populated area it was just like potholes, speed bumps and lots of things going on Whoa! look at the condition of the road here Wow, so many like potholes all over the road. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a challenge, that's for sure. So we still got about 60 miles to reach Dakar. So hopefully there will be 60 miles, including some uh, nice smooth country roads and not just potholes and speed bumps. another one and already some of these speed bumps we've managed to hit our bash plate on because they're just so small and so extreme that so actually our clearance is only just about enough to get over most of these whoa look at this Wow, there's so many crazy smells coming from here. OK, 
Okay, turn left here. Yeah. Left here. <laughs> this place. looking a little bit better here look at the quality of this road that looks nice yeah we've just left Amboro going back out into the countryside so hopefully this uh we'll stay like this for a little while and it won't take us all day to get to that car <laughs> We're coming into Dakar and look at this crazy beach. Wow, that looks like a busy beach. Loads of people are swimming here. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, we're on this uh, coast beach road which comes into Dakar from the uh, north. Well, it's like a double lane highway which is quite refreshing because yeah, the traffic and the speed bumps and everything have been really, really long and really tough to get through yeah it took us probably two hours just for 30 miles it was insane really really slow going six and a half hours on the on and off the bike already yeah. today we didn't stop too much today no 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 we knew we had a big distance to go to we wanted to get here so that tomorrow we can uh, go early to the shipping company and make sure that everything is organized so you know the mission was just to make sure we got here today a bit longer than i was wanting to drive but it's all right we're only about you know, 20 minutes or so and then we'll be there In the city, <laughs> city of Dakar. <laughs> in the city, city Dakar. <laughs> <laughs> we should be arriving there in four minutes. So just go the roundabout. Yeah, just go where all the traffic goes. Yeah, I'm going under the bridge, yeah? I think so. All right. Look at all the taxis here. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely hitting the traffic now. But yeah, the taxis are quite retro and cool, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> All like massively old bangers that they've sort of painted some panels black and some panels yellow. Really nice art here. And of course, a goat's uh, little market or a place for goats to be. <laughs> well, they always got to have room for the goats, hey? Yes. Always got to have room for the goats. <laughs> Wow, but this city, I'm really impressed at just how big this city is. It's unbelievable. It I is mean, unbelievable. Compared to St. Louis, this place is just massive. So in 500 feet, we have to turn to the right. <laughs> I love that your Google Maps is in feet. <laughs> in 500 feet. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, right, right here, here, I think. And then, yep. can you go right here yeah can you go here to the right yep. yeah yeah i can yeah can you go yeah just about oh. that's fine it's it's uh, not deep sand yeah stop here okay we got the place wrong so we redirected on google maps and it's 15 minutes more of the city <laughs>